download and play around with the Coinos CLI wallet, we'll go to github.com slash Coinos slash Coinos dash CLI dash wallet and we'll go to the releases page and I'm on Mac OS so I'll download the Mac OS zip file. It'll be extracted into my downloads directory. The first thing we want to do is move the files over to a more permanent location. So I will move them to here. The first thing we'll need to do is to connect an endpoint and we could do that by running the binary and then specifying the RPC um, connection which is here. Um, so now we're in. To check that the wallet is connected we can run a balance command and let's check the balance on here. And we see that there's a balance there. So that means we're connected to the Coinos network and we can um, transact now. Um, to use the wallet, you can hit tab and then scroll up and down and then you'll see all of the, the commands that you can use. Um, some of these commands don't work yet, but they will in the future. Let's create a wallet that'll be stored on this computer. Let's go create. By the way, you can start typing a command and then hit tab and it'll auto-complete it for you. If you just click on create, it'll give you the usage. Uh, so we need a file name and a password. So let's create a wallet call rons.wallet. You can give it whatever extension you want. And I'll give it a password of password. But don't do this. Create a strong password even though this is only a test network, it's probably best practice to just create strong passwords always. We created a wallet and it gave us an address. So now we have this new address that we can use. Let me put it in here. So I have, so I don't have to keep going back and forth. Now, if we want to see the, um, the address again, plus the private key, we can just type in info while our wallet is open and it gives us this information. If we ask for a balance right now of this address, we should have zero. This is basically how we set up a wallet and connect to the endpoint. Another way to connect to the endpoint, you can connect to the endpoint through here. Once, the wallet, once your um, CLI is running, you can connect it to here. Earlier we connected to the endpoint by executing the binary and giving it the RPC flag. But you can also just open the wallet and then connect using the connect command. If we exit this and list here, we'll see that we have the wallet file here. We can run this command again. Now we're back into the wallet, but now if we try to get info, we'll see that the wallet is not open. So once we exit, every time we come back, we have to open the wallet again. So let's open rons.wallet and the password is password. And now if we get info, our wallet is open. Okay, so here I have a wallet that has some coin in it, and here I have the new wallet that was just created. I already sent 100 coin as a test, so if we look, we see that this wallet already has 100 coin. I want to send another 100 coin to this wallet, so from this wallet I will say uh, transfer, not send. Transfer 100 to this address, right? transferring 100 coin. This is going to take a little while, so I don't think it's, oh, there it is. Look at that. Let's try it again. Transfer another 100 coin. Let's see how quickly it works. Boom. All right, so that's how you transfer the coin. One other thing that we can do is we can also restore a wallet that already exists. So let's say 
you have your private key and you got a new computer or you, your wallet got deleted or you had a wallet that exists because you're running a miner, you can uh, import. So the import command, you would need to give it a private key, a file name, and a password. So I just happen to have a private key. Oh, you know what I can do? I can just, this is the private key for this wallet. So let's import this wallet into, so this is going to be um, test wallet dot wallet. Or give it a password, a password. So we just, and then uh, we just import it, and then we, we type in info. We see that we have this wallet imported into here. And if we get the balance, we should see 300. Very nice. Okay, I think this covers um, the basics for now. In the future, I'll make more videos about how to use the Coinos CLI wallet as new features are added. See ya.